This is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today we are going to show you how to speed up and save battery on the Moto Z2 Force. Now, this is some specifics, but really this will help you overall in terms of battery life, in terms of lasting long and getting rid of the bloatware you don't need on this phone as well as making sure that the things you do want to keep run fast and a lot faster than it currently is right now. So first and foremost, we're going to go into settings, swipe all the way up and go to about phone. From here, you're going to swipe up and hit build number repeatedly until that comes up. You are now a developer. Now from here, you're going to go to developer options. Now be careful with what you touch in here because uh, touching the wrong stuff can cause your phone to have issues. So you're gonna swipe up until you get to the drawing category. And here we are, the drawing category. And you're gonna see three things that say animation and scale. These are all set to one X. You wanna change this to 0.5 for each of these. So change each of these and now you already see a speed difference in how the phone moves and operates so you're gonna see a big difference in it already but we're gonna have more to show you so the next part is going to be under location now for location you want to hit these three dots up here hit scanning and you want to turn off Bluetooth scanning what this allows for is that your Bluetooth is always on even if you have Bluetooth off and it doesn't need to be. So turn Bluetooth scanning off. For Wi-Fi scanning, you do wanna leave that on just because GPS will take longer to discover where you are if you don't have that on. So now we're also going to the next part, which is getting rid of some unnecessary apps. So the first one that's unnecessary would be Lookout. This drains your battery a lot. And uh, you don't really need it because if you ever lose your phone, Android Device Manager can be used on any computer. You just go to a web browser, Google Android Device Manager, sign into your Gmail account, and you can remove, remotely delete the phone or find where it was last turned on. So you don't need Lookout, and if you're worried about viruses, as long as you get all your apps from the Play Store and don't click any unnecessary ads or don't go to weird websites, then you should be fine. So getting rid of Lookout. We're gonna grab it, drag it over to App Info, force stop, and then disable. This will help your battery life about an hour, so it's really good to get rid of it. So that's gonna be the first thing. And again, we see it moving faster and faster as it goes along. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to get rid of is any bloatware that your phone might have. So uh, for this phone, it's a Sprint phone. So I've gotten rid of some of the Sprint apps, but you can see there's still some more. And you can just get rid of them by, if they have a notification, like I don't need this app cloud thing. So I'm gonna hold it down, go into more settings, go to app cloud, force stop, and disable. And again, this makes your phone run faster because all these things are running in the background. It's also not taking your battery life. So these are the mains when you want to get rid of. Uh, other ones I would get rid of is like, say, if you don't need some of the Google stuff, if you have Verizon, if you have AT&T, if you have T-Mobile, all of them put their own bloatware on it. So get rid of what you need. So that is it. Those are gonna be the main functions uh, that you want to disable and turn on or off uh, for your phone to run much smoother. The other thing I would just like to let you know is if you don't mind it under display color mode, if you change it to standard, this uses uh, less vibrant or uh, basically not as bright colors. So that will save you a bit of battery life as well compared to the vibrant mode. I would keep vibrant myself because I like the way it looks, but that's another option. All right, guys, hopefully you did like this video. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. 
And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.